guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm giving you my keto update and this is for week six I will be heading into week seven these two weeks I literally did not lose anything up until the very last two or three days and I was nervous going into week five I started my menstrual cycle so that threw everything off threw my body off I was stalled for the longest and then second week it was like getting back into my regular routine, my flow with my body and stuff like that without my menstrual cycle. And it was just like, I haven't lost anything. Like this makes me not want to come on here and give you an update. So literally weighed myself yesterday and I am now sitting at 228. When I first started this, I was at 245. So far, I've lost around 16 pounds. That's not that bad. Like say I go another six weeks, that means I will be at my goal. I would I would be over my goal. I'm gonna continue doing what I've been doing. You guys have been following me and it has like, this is so doable, you guys. Like I'm over here drinking my bulletproof coffee. I have made so many mess up. I still eat ketchup and I know for some people they would never do that but I still eat ketchup and I'm still seeing results like I'm not gonna crunch down on small stuff like that like ketchup. I still eat strawberry uh, cream cheese just like little things like that I still do and I was trying to wing myself off of it but honestly it doesn't take me out of ketosis it doesn't like affect me in a negative way so it's like I'm not changing anything unless it just comes down to that point where I'm just not losing anymore so I still eat ketchup I still eat uh, little things that may be higher in sugar or high in sugar as far as like ketchup cream cheese but I have not cheated the actual diet so the reason why I'm like okay with eating ketchup is because I'm not cheating keto at all I will eat ketchup though so I'm sticking to the main dynamic of this diet like the main frame of this diet I'm sticking to but for ketchup if you want to be a stickler for ketchup that's on you now I won't take it far like eating barbecue sauce I have changed my barbecue sauce I don't use barbecue sauce or I bought that sugar-free barbecue sauce and I'll use that but I'm not like going off the deep end like ketchup I have to eat all my eggs and I have to eat my eggs so I put ketchup on my eggs okay what I've been doing in the gym I've been doing more cardio than lifting so I'll do my sprint routine which I talked about in my previous video if you haven't seen my previous video watch my previous video I'm not about to get into my sprint routine again I mostly am doing cardio and high rep lifting but for the most part I really dedicate most of my time to cardio because I am trying to get lean and burn fat so I'm focusing more on cardio right now the lifting weights so I'll do my sprint routine and now I've added on the Stairmasters and I'll do 10 minutes on the Stairmasters at like speed 6 and then I'm like done and then I'll go lift weights I'll use the resistant bands and then I'll also do like some dumbbells and things like that and I'll also squat but I'm not squatting maxed out I'm just squatting to get in some good high reps and I'm talking like 40 to 50 reps of squats and I'm probably lifting with the bar and I'll probably add like 10 to 15 pounds on either side and I'm squatting like high like 40 50 that's my routine I may even add in some jumping rope but majority of my workout is cardio because I am trying to get to my goal like quick so the quickest is intermittent fasting and then also a uh, high intensity cardio fasted cardio and I'm following the keto diet plan so that is what I'm doing I'm not doing anything major one thing that I wanted to talk about was in the beginning like you're gonna F up so many times but as long as you stick to the main frame of the diet like the most important part of the diet which is like no bread no grains uh, sugar free you'll be fine ketchup is not like terrible as long as you stick to that you'll be fine and then also you can be social with the keto diet now the first four weeks I was not social at all I literally just cut everybody off and I'm like I need to like not have any temptation so for four weeks I did I cut everybody off and I'm like no I don't want to hang out no I can't hang out and now that it's week six I'm so comfortable with this diet it's becoming like second nature for me now oh my god what am I gonna eat what am I gonna do it's like now 
I'm just doing it and I'm loving the results. Friday night, I went out, I went to a bar and I got vodka and Diet Coke because that's all they had. So I got vodka and Diet Coke. I didn't want to do a shot. Vodka and Diet Coke is not terrible, but it's not like, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. It's not. And everyone at my like table was making fun of me like, who drinks Diet Coke and vodka? When I ordered, I got a Philly cheesesteak, no bun, and I got it loaded with like bacon, cheese, and it was chicken. It was a Philly chicken, but it was so good. No fries. And then for sides, they had either like, everything was fried. I, at first I was gonna get fruit, but I'm like, oh shoot, like you can't really eat fruit either. So I just got just the Philly cheese chicken sandwich, no bun, and it was so freaking good. Who is texting me right now? Why is it every time you want to record people want to text you and then also another thing when I first started this diet I was like a 1x maybe an extra large maybe but now I'm definitely a large I didn't notice until this weekend like I went to Target and they had 70% off so I'm in there I'm like my feet have gotten smaller I can also wear a small shirt like I can wear a small shirt my bottoms have to be a large if the item is not big butt friendly then I do have to get like an extra large but for the most part I'm a large at Target and that's pretty huge because gosh I love my size right now I do like if I had two kids I would not even I'll be cool with my size right now but I don't have a kid so I'm trying to get as small as possible y'all know Y'all know how I feel about that. But I love my size. Like, being able to walk into the store and pick up an item. Like, do y'all not know how good that feels? That feels good as hell. Like, just walking in the store, picking up your size, and walking out. You don't even got to try it on. You know what's going to fit. You know what's going to look good. You don't have to try it on. That is, like, the best feeling in the world. Hopefully, I am encouraging you. I am motivating you to do this with me. Because it, it's so doable. It's not like other diets where you have to be strict as hell. Like, with keto... You can slack off a little bit, okay? You can slack off a little bit. And what I mean by slacking off, eating ketchup. I'm not slacking off like still eating bread, still eating pasta, but I'm like slacking off and eating some ketchup. Eating strawberry cream cheese, like little slack offs like that. I even tried the strawberry, strawberry cheesecake cups that you can get at Walmart or at Sunfresh. Like I've even eaten those. It's sweeter, but it's it's not like your typical cheesecake, but it's sweet to me because the keto diet is sugar-free. So I'll treat myself to that, but I will not go off the deep end and eat bread or eat like real carbs, grains, rice, uh, sweet potato. I don't eat any of that junk, but I will go get like a yogurt cup, but it's like strawberry cheesecake. It's so good. And then I'll also drink the chocolate milk, the cashews chocolate milk. Oh my god, it's so good. Like, little things like that you can get away with on the keto diet. You don't want to go too far off the keto diet, if that makes sense. Like, you want to still stay on the main road, but don't venture off and take a side street. And then the next thing you know, you done binge to eat. And then the next thing you know, you at McDonald's getting you a McDonald's. Uh, we're not going that far off the deep end, but I mean little things here and there. This is like realistic You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be one of those people. Oh, I eat spinach for breakfast and I eat eggs and I've seen people do that and the results are phenomenal, but that's not real for me. So I'm still eating fatty meats. I'm eating pork. I miss my salmon. I do, I do. I miss my salmon, but my salmon ain't getting the job done. Salmon is not something that you want to eat because it's not high in fat. It's high in protein, but it's not high in fat. When you eat pork, it's high in fat and it's high in protein. So I typically just go with the pork. So I've been eating sausage, like I recently uploaded a video on my Insta story of me making a sausage sandwich. So what I'll do is I'll take two sausage patties and then I'll make me like a little egg, kind of like how they do at McDonald's. And I'll put the egg in the middle and then two sausage patties on the outside and eat it like a sandwich. I will be doing a what I eat in a day video sometime this week. I'm going to record it. I don't know when I'm going to have it up, but expect that to be next. It won't be a part of an update. I was going to make it part of the update, but I'm going to make a separate video dedicated to what I eat in a day. And then also I'm going to be traveling. I told y'all I was going to travel in the fall this year. I wasn't going to take any trips this summer because I was trying to get skinny out here. So now that fall is, it's not even here yet, but I mean, it's September, so 
I'll be leaving September 14th and I'm gonna vlog out there and I'm gonna show you guys like what I'm eating being away and being out of town but yeah so I'm gonna post my what I eat in a day video probably sometime this week or next week so that you guys can see what I eat in a day my typical day thing and then I'm also gonna show you guys how to eat on the go and I think I'm gonna do that while I'm in LA because that makes more sense my arms are getting so small like and I don't have any saggy skin. Now, people always ask me all the time, what do you do to eliminate saggy skin? First of all, I feel like part of it is genetics. Also, part of it could have been that I was an athlete prior to gaining a ton of weight. My whole background is like I took a steroid and I ended up gaining like over 100 pounds after taking the steroid injection. That's a story that I have not yet told. But um, that's what happened. So I honestly feel like when I gained the weight, I still had muscle underneath all the fat. <laughs> so it wasn't like I was fat my whole life and I never worked out a day. If that's you, probably will have saggy skin. But for me, I've been blessed enough not to have saggy skin. So, or even stretch marks for real, for real. Like I have stretch marks right here. I have stretch marks where my booty is, but I don't really have stretch marks that are just like, oh my God. My journey has been such a blessing. Like. A lot of the things that I was concerned with in the beginning, trying to lose weight, I really didn't even deal with. Like, saggy skin was the main thing. I really feel like I'm going to really just slide by and get the body that I had before gaining all my weight after that steroid injection. So, I'm really, really happy about that because I was so on the fence like oh I don't want to do this because I don't want to have saggy skin and it's like I'm not even dealing with that so I'm really really blessed I'm not telling y'all this to throw it up in your face or to discourage you or to um, speak down on someone who does have saggy skin it's just something that I've been blessed to not have to deal with one thing that I did do though in the beginning of my weight loss I was lifting a lot of weights I was doing a lot of resistant bands and I really dedicate my my arms being slim and toned by using resistant bands which was introduced to me by grind time Corian. if you guys don't follow him follow him on instagram but grind time Corian, he is the one that introduced me to resistant bands and i've been using them ever since he introduced me to the resistant bands and it's really helped tone my arms and i don't lift heavy or anything like that i just use the resistant bands this pretty much completes this video i will be back with a keto what i eat in a day and then after that i'll be back with what i eat with keto on the go this is week six and i'll be back for week eight i do updates every two weeks to check in with you guys and make sure that you guys are keeping yourself accountable even for the people that have fallen off it's okay get back up let's restart let's do this thank you guys so much for watching comment down below if you've learned anything new with keto new recipes any ideas and now it's like i'm settling into this comfortable state where it's like i'm eating the same old same old so if you have a recipe recipe or something that you tried recently that was just so bomb or a snack that I can get at Trader Joe's or anywhere for that matter comment down below a website that's keto friendly that I can order stuff from please oh my god if you know a website that I can order keto stuff from please comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next update bye